Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to another transfer story. Today we're going to talk about James uh, Dygoski. Sorry if I messed with that up, most probably up somewhere across the line. The 27 year old is wanted by Leicester. And you can tell from the thumbnail he's wanted by Leicester. But he's also wanted by Palace. Two clubs, two very different um, circumstances within the league table and you know other stuff alike the likes of players and stuff like that but his contract does not run out until 2022 so you you really have got to look at the likes of the wage of cost buying out his contract you know and what's probably best for his future England uh, chances to be called up been called up once maybe twice I can't quite remember but you know he has got two citizenships one in Poland and one in England so I'm guessing he's got sort of family connections somewhere within Poland as well as the UK and obviously he's chosen England but you know there's a lot to talk about with this uh, James because you know having a contract till 2022 which is the next well it's supposed to be the next World Cup whether that still goes ahead we'll have to wait and see but let's just talk about, you know, the likes of playing with the likes of Jamie Vardy, James Madison, Ben Chormwell, Johnny Evans. You've got three England teammates just in that lineup alone. Well, two, because Jamie Vardy has retired from international football. But he's 27 years old. So he, he probably is just about reaching the peak of his career. But then you go look at Crystal Palace side of things, Wilfred Sahar, Max Myers, Jordan Iam and Gary Cahill. Now Gary Cahill is pushing the end of his career. So would, would this be a straight up replacement for Palace and you know, a bit harder to get in the Leicester squad? This could be an interesting story going right through this window because there's so many you know, twists and turns within the window anyway. But to actually see what's going to happen with James and see where he ends up if he does move away from Burnley. Burnley did pay 3.660 million, so you know, in layman's terms, around about three and a half million. How much do I think it costs for Leicester or Crystal Palace? I'm guessing, obviously, have international. I'm guessing probably around about 10 to 15 million, so that's a big profit coming in from Burnley after buying him from Brentford, as I've just said, literally around about three and a half million pounds. So that could be a big profit coming into Burnley. What do I think? I think it could be a good move for James. Maybe step up his England chances as well. With the likes of, you know, he's got the complete with the likes of Harry Maguire. <laughs> you know, trips. You know, there's a few big England names in there. Michael Kane, you can all have your opinions on these players. And please feel free to put it down in the comments below. Let's get some, you know, conversation started. But I think this could be a good move for James. If I was pushing one way for James, I'd probably just go Leicester over Palace. And so I disrespect to Palace whatsoever. I just think you've got the highest success by being called up for England with the likes of Leicester. I mean, if you look at other clubs like Brighton or, you know, Norwich or, you know, and you look at that team and you're going to say, yeah, this club will get called up because the club he plays for, even though, you know, the likes of Gareth Southgate says, no, nah, it's not because of that. But we all have a sort of funny feeling it is. But to actually see Jane play in the Leicester shirt, as you can tell by my thumbnail, or Palace shirt, I think he could really give either club a big boost if either this uh, story goes ahead. Obviously, if it does, there will now be updates on when it is in discussion from clubs. It'll be on this channel. It'll also be on this channel when the transfer gets over the line. So make sure you subscribe for that. If you don't know how to subscribe, hit my logo at the end of this video, it'll pop up on the screen, you can subscribe like that, or you can hit the subscribe button underneath. 
you know, both ways work. But um, anyway guys, just a quick video today, so James Tartoski, yet again, probably mispronounced it, apologies if I have. But anyway guys, give us a big thumbs up if you enjoy it, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, shout out.